what is going on my fellow Libras out there and welcome back to the channel this reading will resonate most if you are a libra rising but you may find some messages in here if you are a libra sun or moon as well i hope you guys are doing well but from the looks of things there's a lot going on <laughs> so let's get into it november is a really really crazy time it's a really really crazy month it just may feel like there's a lot of things that are out of your control right now like you're trying to get a grip on things but it may feel like you're stagnant or stuck or like there's a lot of things out of your control and up in the air right we have a lot of second eighth house stuff going on for you and some fifth house stuff the good news is though that a lot of these things that are coming up any insecurities any trust issues issues with like lack or loss could actually be very liberating and could actually bring you some kind of good fortune in the end you just may not see it at first in a weird way i know that sounds weird but that's how some of these placements play out at times so let's go over your cards okay we have first off the abundance card followed by the workaholic reversed it like came out reversed which i thought was interesting so what i see here libra is that you could be feeling a little bit stuck in terms of your inspiration your passion your work, what you're doing. It could just feel like you're having trouble really moving forward with something to do with work. And it could feel like it's very stressful because because you're not moving forward, you are not getting the abundance that you need from it. You're not getting the security that you need from it. Or it could just feel like you're slowing down or a little bit stressed out in terms of security or work lately or something that you've been working on after that we have insecurity and so once again this tells me that there could be some insecurity coming up in terms of your worth your finances money your security your stability your material things and even like emotional support in some way for some of you with scorpio being your second house you could be feeling very driven to kind of create a new sense of stability or security but you could be feeling you could be feeling a little bit blocked in some way for some reason it could be feeling like there's a lot going on in terms of finances or even possibly children children needing to borrow money off of you or use something of yours or need something material or physical from you or maybe you're going through something where you are spending money on things that you don't really need or that are not actually healthy for you and this is putting you in an insecure state so you want to watch out for these things in the month of november especially if you're libra rising now we also have service and faith and what i'm kind of getting here from service libra is that you need to be very careful on and very aware of where you're putting your energy this month and this seems to come up over and over and over again what are you focusing on what are you putting your energy towards are you giving too much but not getting enough in return or vice versa you know what's really going on where is your energy at i also feel like you know with the faith card here this could be really kind of disrupting your faith you could be going through a lot of different things where Maybe you're feeling like you have to be there for a lot of people or you're feeling like you have to do a lot, but maybe you're not getting enough in return. And so with this faith card, I feel like you could feel a little bit let down this month, but it's going to be important to have a sense of hope, to have a sense of faith, to know that it's just, you know, it's not going to last forever, right? If you are going through some kind of struggle right now and then we also have the gossip card which is really interesting because for your tarot we got the seven of cups and the three of cups which is like classic gossip or confusion regarding communication in a friend circle or with other people or with co-workers or whatever or within family in some way you want to be careful this month with gossip because this seems to be something that's coming up in your reading more than once so you want to be careful this month with gossip with lies with rumors things may not be what they appear on a month like this so just keep that in mind and honestly if you end up gossiping about somebody it could come back to bite you okay it could come back to bite you in the ass for in some way so you do want to be careful with that this month so some other things that i'm seeing here libra you have the card coming apart 
And so this could be that you are coming apart from something, that you are separating from something, kind of leaving something behind, so to say, or going in a new direction with something. And then we also have the card intention here. And so once again, I feel like this kind of goes back into awareness because we also have the wizard of awareness here. What are your intentions? And are you being upfront about your intentions? Do you even know your intentions? You know, with all of this stuff in your second house in Scorpio, intentions can feel very hidden this month. And there could be a lack of trust or trust issues coming up that need to be addressed. And so it's going to be very important this month that you really make sure that you are being aware of things, that you are being aware of what your true intentions are because even you may not be conscious of them, okay? You may not be doing something consciously, but you could be doing it subconsciously, right? And so it's going to be really important that you master your awareness this month, that you really pay attention to what's happening. And then we also have the slow and steady card, which tells me that this is a month that you really are going to want to slow down and take your time with things, become aware of things, and not try to rush through things just because you're uncomfortable or because you may be feeling insecure or trying to take some kind of shortcut. For your tarot, we start off with the Eight of Wands and the Magician. Once again, where are you putting your energy? Where are you putting your focus? What is your intention? What are you actually, what are you attracting to you in a lot of ways? Or what are you going towards subconsciously that you may have not been aware of? This is coming up majorly this month. We also have perspective which in this deck is the hangman. So you could be in a situation where you kind of feel like you're stuck or where you kind of feel like you're not moving forward. Once again, though, the hangman deals with clarity and new perspective, awareness, right? It's becoming aware of what you are unaware of. And part of this could be this whole communication trust gossip thing that's coming up here because not only do we have the seven of cups and the three of cups we also have the princess of swords which is basically the page of swords in the normal tarot there could be something going on here that you know needs to be faced in regards to a shady situation involving communication with other people it could be rumors gossip or it could just be that maybe you're needing to cut some people out of your life maybe you can no longer trust certain people in your life or maybe you've been giving too much to people that have not been giving back to you in some way, Libra. So this is definitely a month where you could notice these things. Now, we kind of end here with the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So this tells me that you are getting back in terms of your stability and your security. And it could be with the help of somebody very genuine, um, or it could just be that you are more so working emotionally on fulfilling yourself to get to a place that will give you something sustainable regarding your security and stability. And so um, it may be a month where you are saving a little bit more or you are thinking about saving or you are thinking about where to invest, you know, and not just invest your money or resources or whatever. Like this is also like investing your time and energy. Like I keep saying, I, found, I sound like a broken record now, but you get the point, I think. So that is what I'm seeing in your cards, Libra. It seems like this month could be kind of like a crisis of faith in some ways and bring up some insecurities that need to be addressed and faced, but also showing you where things may not be what they appear in certain areas of your life and where you need to take a look at those where you need to address certain self-worth issues and certain issues regarding worth in general. What is important to you that you're putting your time and energy into and is it really paying off? Is it really worth it to you? Or are you just, you know, like, are you just trying to, are you just doing stuff that really at the end of the day is not important to you and it's not getting you anywhere, it's keeping you stuck. So that's something that I think is gonna be really big this month with this. Mars Saturn square within your second and your fifth house and also the Uranus opposition in your eighth house. There could be some unexpected change that happens this month or some unexpected deep stuff that comes up that needs to be faced. But I think that with Mars ruling your second and in your second, it's a great time for moving through stuff and getting this these topics sorted out in your life so you can feel more stable and so you can feel more safe and secure within yourself. 
Okay, so that is what I'm seeing in your cards, Libra, and really in your astrology too. Other than that, we have the Taurus Lunar Eclipse uh, on the 19th, which I'm going to do a whole separate video on, but that is going to be uh, in your 8th house as well. So there could be a lot coming up around that time. It could be a pretty powerful moment for finances or your partner's finances, shared finances and resources um, that you know you may want to address around that time or that may come up in some way. Like I said, I'm going to do a whole separate video on that where we'll go into more. But that is basically it for November Libra. Definitely let me know down below if this reading resonated for you. I'd love to hear about it and love to hear your feedback if, any of, if you see any of these themes coming up this month. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it and I will see you guys in my other videos.